Hey everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial. I'll be showing you guys how you can create a tab layout using Android Studio. So let's get started on the video. It's not really hard. I'm gonna start a new project and we'll be using the default tab activity that Android Studio comes with. I'm gonna click on next. Change this to Alright, so by default you do get a few things which is the activity main.xml where the same fragment is shown on both of the tabs but in our tutorial we'll make two separate fragments we'll have a different fragment for a different tab so so here are a few classes that they have created by default we'll mess around with them later first let's um create our uh fragments that we want for the tabs to go over to this folder here and go over to new you'll find java class name this to fragment one simple so this is our first fragment first thing that we'll do is type in extends extends to and then type in fragment you'll find this imported by default once you do that and the second thing that we'll do is type in on so we're looking for on create view so you'll find the option called layout inflator so if you see this click this and you'll find uh, some other codes created all right so this is what will help us like connect our dot xml file which is a layout file with our fragment one so every time someone calls this class which is fragment one then the layout xml will be used so we need to assign the layout xml we we haven't created it yet but we will you know like after assigning this so like first we need to remove this return inflator dot inflate and inside the brackets we'll be typing in r dot layout dot um the name of the layout that we'll be using which will be fragment and then layout like this is a name that doesn't exist now but we will create this so and then we will type in container root will be false so I ha i'm having a few problems with my keyboard so you might see ones come up randomly so and the root will be false this isn't working now because we don't have this name i'm gonna copy this and create the layout file now so go over to new layout resource file and name this to the name that we used and this will be a relative layout and click ok so now we have this here the error is now like so this is one fragment created uh, for one tab so we need to just do the same for the second tab so we're gonna copy the best things now let's copy this go over to the folder or oh, let's just create a new fragment and copy paste the code so i'm gonna copy this and go to new java class fragment 2 and remove all that and paste all this now this should be fragment 2 and the layout shouldn't be fragment 1 this the layout should also be fragment 2 which doesn't exist and we need to create that so we're gonna copy this and paste and we'll change the name to fragment 2 and click OK. Alright, so we have now two layout fragments connected to two fragment classes. Now, in, in order to differentiate the classes, we need to add something. So we'll add a switch option on the first fragment to help differentiate. We have two of our fragments created that we want to use on our tabs. Now we have to connect the fragments with the tabs and all the codes for the tabs are pre-created all we have to do is enter in the names so if you go to section pager adapter you'll find a 
tab titles over here like it's okay if you don't understand everything if i like searching out i don't understand everything here either but um but the thing that i do understand is that these are the ones that control the names of the tab titles and you'll find the names stored here or under values so go over to strings and you'll find the names here so if you like want you to add a third tab to your um app then you all you have to do is copy this paste it here again and change the name to three change the name here as well and now we have a, a third tab we actually don't have a third tab we just have a name if you really want to add a third tab you had to add this here like comma and r dot string dot tab text tree and you have to change the return value to three as well and this would create three tabs but for this tutorial we'll only be using two and return two now the part where we like attach the tabs to the fragments so by default they have an option that will increment our number on the tabs uh, mainly the the fragment.xml page so we're not gonna use that so I'm gonna remove all this we're working on this method which is public fragment so what we'll type in here is fragment so fragment and name would be fragment Let, or you can type name this to whatever you want and we're gonna initialize it as null so null and now we will add something called the switch statements to check what position the um, frag like tab is currently and uh, display the fragment accordingly. I'm going to show you how it works of so its small letter switch and position and then need to add brackets here and inside the brackets we type in case which is also small and for case 0 so if position is 0 it, it's gonna be like this for case 0 fragment the one that we have created equals to new fragment 1 so for so we do need to add that so what happens here is that whenever the position of the tab is 0 our first fragment that we created is gonna be like like used I guess and for the case where it's the position value is 1 fragment equals to new fragment 2 so the second fragment that we created is gonna get used here and also I forgot that we need to add um, case I mean break which means it, it like once the fragment gets loaded you don't do anything else it's gonna stop here so we to add that and also after we have create done all this it need to like return fragment so this is probably it let's see if it works or not or right, so as this keeps on going let's talk about something else um, note that we didn't have to do anything in main activity what happens in main activity is that activity.main is opened up and activity.main if you go over to the layout file you can see like the sliding tab layout so this is uh, what we will see so all you have to do really is um, add your own fragments and everything and it works or so we have uh, this loaded up you can as you can see that at tab 1 we have our switch and if you move to tab 2 we have our button that doesn't do anything and yeah so this this was a simple way to which you can make your sliding tab so let's do like a summary so you don't have to watch the video again the first thing that we did was like created a new project which was a tabbed activity project and once we have created the new project we created our 
um, fragments which we used for our tabs which was fragment 1 and fragment 2 we created the XML files and we also created the classes for the fragments and we used the on create inflator to in like create connect our XMLs with our classes and then we went over to ui.main and section pager adapter and here we connected fragments with the tabs by using switch and case yeah, and if we wanted to add a new tab all we had to do was change this and and change the return value and then add the code here this was how you can create your uh, tab layout thanks all for watching again i'll see you guys again in the next video leave a like if this video was helpful and don't forget to subscribe for more uh, java tutorials i guess and have a nice day